secrets to different bills. Hey, don't go dim it, you need it, I got it listed here. You wanna make it, I'll show you just how to make it here. I got all the rarest bills, and I ain't done yet. Move from the finish to making bills like a prospect. Flow space and slashes to catching us with a lot of threat. You keep the medals, cause the real ones coming up next. Only scratch the surface, still they try to drain. Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is your man, Uncle Demi, and today I have another special banger for you. Now, before we hop into this video, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel or dropped a like, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and drop a like. Also, you do know I have membership opportunities on my channel. All you have to do is just check out my homepage on my channel, look at that join box, click it, and be able to see the opportunities we have there. Or you can just look at the link in the description and be able to see what the opportunities we have here also, all right? Now, let's hop right into this video. Now, as you know, we're, with this revisited series, we are going back looking at our old builds that I have made before I really knew had as much knowledge as I do now, and then try to revisit that that build and try to make it extremely better than it was beforehand. Now, as you can see right here, I had made the basket back to the basket big using a pure shooting pie chart. And to be honest with you, I did not know back then that you could make it out of another pie chart. So of course, you know, we use the pure the pure shooting pie chart. It has been a build that has been bothering me for the longest of time because I think of the back to the basket as a prime Kobe Bryant and a prime Michael Jordan build. And it just did not have the athletic ability that I wanted it to have. It did have 22 shooting badges. It only had nine finishing badges. It only had nine playmaking. It only had one defensive rebound. And then also, um, as you can see, I did not have really much, really good attributes for this, right? The driving dunk was only a 58. You know, my shooting was 74s, my ball handling and passing was 70. I mean, the defense, my athletic ability, my speed was a 67, my bird was a 72. It just wasn't a good build, right? Let's just, let's just call it what it is. It wasn't a good build. So what I did was I actually made two versions of the back to the basket big using two separate pie charts to allow y'all to decide which one y'all think is better. So that's what we're gonna do. So first pie chart that we're gonna use is we're gonna use the pure playmaking pie chart. And with this pure playmaking pie chart, is one of my favorite pie charts now. Um, it's coming down between this pie chart and this pie chart here, especially when it comes to the guards. I just think that this is extremely OP to have. And um, if you're okay with gold quick draw, then these are the pie charts I definitely say go with. It's just too much versatility within these, all right? So um, let's start with here. Um, what we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and use the physical profile. We wanna use the, the balance profile, physical profile um, pie chart because you wanna at least have a decent amount of strength because you're all gonna be utilizing that back down. Um, it, it, what, other thing that I can think of saying, because as you can see here, is that you can try to use, where's it at, speed and um, strength, but it's only a 62, 94 speed. I'm sorry, oof, wrong one. Um, where we at? Uh, here we go. So you're looking at a 67 strength with 94 speed, but only a 63 vert. I just don't think that's good enough. And then here, that's just 52. I just like this better because when it's all said and done, you're gonna have a 91 speed. You're gonna have, well, let me, before we get into that, let me just go ahead and get these, these close shots here. Okay, so you wanna get this to 85, 78. You wanna um, get this to a 75 here. You wanna max out your standing dunk and then you wanna max out your standing. You wanna get your mid-range shot to a 76. You wanna get your three-point shot to a 74. You wanna max out your free throws, I'm sorry, to an 84. Your post fade to a 77. Your pass accuracy to a 75. You wanna get your ball handling to an 80. Then you wanna get your post moves to an 87, right? Then you wanna max out your interior, your perimeter, your lateral quickness, and your steals, and then use the remaining on your blocks, okay? So as you can tell immediately, what we're looking at, instead of having nine finishing, you have 12. Instead of having 22, you have 14. Instead of having nine, you have 18. And instead of having one, you have three, okay? So that's a huge big difference in the upgrade. As you look at the physical profiles, let's go and get to that physical profile first. Let's go ahead and get the height and weight set up. So what you wanna do is you can go solid. You wanna go 6'6". You wanna go 200 pounds. Like I said, again, I was just using this for Michael Jordan and Kobe. 6'6", 200, and I'm um, 82 wingspan. So what you're looking at now, instead of having that 67 speed, you now have an 85, right? Instead of having a 72 vert, you have a 76. You have, um, a, instead of having 64, you have a 65. And instead of having a 66 acceleration, you have an 84, all right? And then what you can see here is that when it comes to the, the, um, the, the attributes as far as your um, shooting and your driving, you go from 58 to 74 driving, 
which will get you to a 78 driving dunk. Um, you can pick the takeover for slashing if you wanted to. You also have um, your mid-range shot went up by one. Your three-point shot went down by one. Um, your, po your, your, your post fade went down. And then your ball, your pass accuracy, your ball handling, they all went up by four. Your post fade went from a, your post moves went from a 74 to a 95, which I felt like was very important. And then, of course, your defense all went up also. You know, so it's like, it's one of those things that this is a complete upgrade. It's more of a well-balanced build and a build that you can utilize all over the court. Here you have two choices, just depending on play style. You're going to use either of these two. And I think either one of them is perfectly fine. You can do good with that. Um, but this pie chart here, I'm going to go ahead and go with um, shot creating takeover just because it's a, the pie chart is all playmaking. And I just wanted to use that. So now you have the back to the basket guard, um, similar to Penny Hardaway. I don't rest of Westbrook and, um, and Brogdon, but I think that, you know, obviously this is more of a, like I said, for me, I was thinking of a Michael Jordan build. I did make it at the point guard because we all know point guards get better attributes than shooting guards, all right? So I went there, all right? And then now, um, what, what you want to do here is you want to go with contact finisher on um, gold. You want to go with your consistent finisher on gold. You want to go with your fancy footwork on gold. And then you want to go with your back down punisher on gold. All right, so um, these three right here, um, I think that these three right here are very important. I use the back down punisher just because I felt like, you know, if you're going to be a back to the basket, you're going to be doing a lot of back downs. And once you do a back down, a post spin, then you're probably going to a hop step. Not anything acrobatic wise, and then you're trying to go ahead and finish like that. So I just felt like this will be the best stack for the back to the basket because you will be backing down smaller players and um, utilizing that, all right, your strength, okay? And then here, of course, you want to go quick draw. You want to get your range extender on bronze. You want to get your deep fades on gold because, like I said, again, you're going to be utilizing your fadeaways. You want to get your hot zone hunter because that's very important. You want to get your corner specialist because what happens is when you do post fades, in the corner, these stack, right? A post fade, and if you post fade and, and turn out into the corner, those are stackable badges. And then last but not least, you wanna go ahead and get your difficult shots. Now, um, what you could do if you wanted to, you can go here. Again, like I said, it's just really based upon how you play your play style. But I think these are the best badges to have because what you're gonna be doing is, remember guys, you're gonna be working out the post a lot, all right? So the way that you're playing is you're gonna take advantage of that guard that you're going against. So you wanna take advantage of that guard by working out of the post. This is be a really good 2v2 build. It's gonna be really fun. 2v2 uh, build so like you because you're gonna be working as a post playmaker I think it's, it's a like I said this is a really fun build to work with right so your hot zone your deep phase and your corner specialist will all stack together right so you want to keep that in mind these are stackable badges right um here what you want to do with your playmaking of course you want to go handles for days you want to get your quick first step you want to get your postman technician these three right here are really important of course you want to go with your space creator Again, I, like what you're trying to do is, is that you will be able to have those opportunities where you're going to be um, in the post. You can then turn around, face them, go ahead and give it your quick first step and your space creator. Um, again, with takeover, um, you might be able to speed boost and do the behind the back escape. I don't know yet, um, but I'm pretty sure you'll be able to with that takeover because if you get shot creating takeover, it should give your dribbling a uh, 10, a 10. I'm guessing 10 attribute boost, so that'll get you to an 84. If you're hot by that time, it should be well over close to a 90. And then of course, you know, with your speed being up, it should be able to all work together to give you that, all right? You do have two left and remaining. Um, you can either go that to unpluckable, but again, it really just to predicate on you. If you don't feel like you're going to be driven a lot, right, then why not just take that off? You can either go to Dimer, right, which is another big one, or what you could do is you could take that off and you can go to Dream Shake, which is really good. Post fake moves have a higher chance of sending defender. Also, shot attempts, falling post moves, and shot fakes have increased shot percentages. So that's something to really think about, all right? And then last but not least, just go ahead, because you are going to be working on a guard, go ahead and put your clamps on gold, all right? So this is what I'm thinking about with this rendition um, for the back to the basket. But now let's go ahead and look at the other pie chart and the other version of this build. And then y'all can decide which one I think is better, okay? All right, so let's go right into it. Nothing really changes here. I mean, you can do whatever you want with this. Um, all right, and then what with the pie chart we're gonna use here is actually gonna be playmaking and finishing this time. So your shooting will be a little bit less. 
but at the same time, you will still be able to get the Hall of Fame um, finishing, and then you'll also be able to get Hall of Fame playmaking, right? Um, I, I went back and forth about which one would be more important, but to be honest with you, when I went with finishing and shooting, it just didn't really look good enough for me um, for what I was trying to do, so I went with this route, all right? So what you want to do here is you want to go 85, you want to go driving layup 78. It's all about trying to get more, a little bit more um, driving dunk 75. I'm just trying to get more um, finishing, right? Badges. So here, we're able to get 14 finishing now, right? This time, you want to max everything out here, right? And then you want to go with your pass accuracy. You want to go 75. You want to go 80 on your ball handling. You want to go 84 on your post moves. Then you want to max out your perimeter, your lateral quickness, your steals, and then you want to get your um, uh, defensive rebounds 57. So now you have 5, 17, 13, and 14, okay? Um, you want to go 6'6". Six, six. Go here, solid. 6'6", six, six, 200 pounds. Leave your wingspan the same. And as you can see, nothing has really changed. Your um, post fade um, has went up a little bit. Your um, post hook obviously has went up a lot. Um, your um, three-point shot has went down. Okay, so your three-point shot has went down almost by 10. Um, your mid-range is a 73. But again, this one right here will give you Hall of Fame badges, all right? And that's one thing that I wanted. At this time, you can go with shot creating, but this time I wanted to go with slasher. Um, but again, you can do whatever, you, whatever you're comfortable with, right? It says back to the basket. Shoot, it even said Oscar Robinson. <laughs> wow. All right, um, so now what you want to do is test out the build, all right? And then, like I said, nothing really much has changed other than the fact that now you will be able to have um, Hall of Fame badges and those two Hall of Fame badges. I wanted to get Contact Finisher Hall of Fame and Back Down Punisher Hall of Fame and then still go with Consistent Finisher on Gold and Fancy Footwork. Now, you can do, like I said, you can do whatever you want with this. It's your build. I'm just trying to give you different versions, but I just feel like, you know, you got to have the Back Down Punisher. You don't really need to do the Drop Step. Drop Step is something that is not really that good. Um, because you lose the ball a lot when you do the drop step and someone's spamming it. So just keep that in mind. Uh, same thing here. You want to get your quick draw, range extender. You want to get your deep fades. All right. You want to get your hot zone hunter. And then, like I said, you can go ahead and get your corner specialist or your difficult shots. This one here, you're going to have a little less. So, I mean, it's really up to you. You can go corner specialist. Um, if you want to go de um, dead eye, um, it's your call. Right. But um, maybe you can go here and go dead eye silver. Um, but again, like this is a different type of build. You don't have to, if you want to get catch and shoot, go ahead. But this is not going to give you catch and shoot opportunities. So you're going to be the one in the post all the time, right? Um, with your playmaking, um, same thing, quick first step, your postman, technician. If you want to get your handles for days if you wanted to. Um, you can go ahead and get your dream shake. And then um, uh, you can, what, what was the other one we had last time? I can't remember now. I'm, throwing, I'm drawing a blank. Um, I think it was, you know, it doesn't really matter. Make go all pluckable. Um, I think it was Space Creator. You don't really want to do that. You can hear, hear or something like that or like that. Um, but Dream Shake is something that's good. You definitely want to at least have Dream Shake. Um, just for the fact that it does give you boost out of post moves, post band on Hall of Fame. So I know like if you wanted to go with the shooting and you wanted to go with the um, slashing pie chart, by all means, go ahead. But I just feel like when it comes to someone that's in the post, you definitely want to have Hall of Fame post spin. I don't think by having Hall of Fame um, shooting badges when you're down on a post really is going to make much of a difference. But that's your call if you want to do that. And then you can go ahead and get your clamps on gold, which, is, like I said, is, is important. And then you can go ahead and get your Intimidator on silver. I mean, Interceptor on silver. But um, it is really, like, again, it's your call, man. It's the way you want to make this build, all right? But those are the two versions of the Back to the Basket Guard. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and drop a like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and subscribe. My nephews and nieces, we are doing really, really well right now so far this year. We look like we're going to have almost 20,000 by the end of this month, 20,000 subs. So that's incredible. So I really am, really, really am grateful to have every single one of y'all. Um, so like I said, I'm going to continue to grind. I'm double uploading right now. So hopefully you're appreciating that. Um, but other than that, I'll be back really, really soon with another banger. And you know, when I say I'll be back soon with another banger, you know what day I'm talking about. I'm talking about tomorrow, man. I'm out. Yeah. Rare. Rare form. Yeah.